We come to our intercessory prayer. Let us pray together. Let us bow in adoration together. Let us pray. From the book of Proverbs we read, Who has gone up to heaven and come down? Whose hands have gathered up the wind? Who has wrapped up the waters in a cloak? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is the name of his son? Surely you know. His name is Jesus, and he is our Saviour, and he is the Saviour of the world. Help us to share him, to gossip the gospel, to live our lives as a fragrant offering to our Jesus. As we approach this Christmas, we are conscious that it will be very different because of the pandemic that continues to rage all over the world. However, we can rejoice in the remembrance of the birth of Jesus, which is what Christmas really is. The Saviour coming into the world, we can reread the most wonderful story. God becomes man. By your Holy Spirit, we can rejoice and sing your praise. Maybe not in church together, but certainly in our hearts and with our families and electronically with our church family. We cry out, as saints throughout the centuries have cried out for the lost of this world, for the needy of this world, for those who hurt so much, for those who materially have nothing, for those in the midst of conflict and war, for those under the influence of evil men and women, for those depressed and down, for those lonely and outcast, Lord, help us to help others. You have blessed us with much provisions, a home to live in, food to eat, clothing to protect us and keep us warm. We are indeed blessed. Help us not to be greedy, to want more and more, to put ourselves above others less fortunate than we are. Open our eyes to see, to live for you, to become more like you. Put away our evil thoughts, our harsh words, our unfeeling actions and replace them with your amazing love, your wonderful compassion, your beautiful care of all around. Lord, in Sandiford there are many needs, many seeking healing, seeking deliverance from debilitating depression and mental anguish, seeking to know the way you are taking them seeking comfort and compassion. We pray for our students in our parish, isolated and feeling alone, working hard but sometimes feeling they are going nowhere. Those who have graduated and still no job for them. Lord, in simplicity and with genuine desire, we ask for your presence with all of our congregation at this time, that you would walk beside them, that you would put your arm around them, that they might know and feel your love, that we all may know your unwavering and unerring mercy, that unquenchable desire to care for and comfort each of us in our need. May Christ be our light. May he shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness, shine in our church gathered today. So much to pray for so many to uphold before you. Prompt our praying such that we do not forget anyone. Lord, how glad we are that you never forget. Thank you, Lord. This morning we look forward to the birth of Christ. We pray your hand to be upon us and to be upon Michael as he opens up your word. Lord, we have been greatly blessed by his preaching in the past. But Lord, use him mightily again this morning. May the words of his mouth be pleasing in your sight. And may what he says penetrate deep into our inmost being, that through the opening of your word, many may be blessed, challenged, supported, ministered to. Bless, we pray thee, Michael, his wife and family in these days. For we ask it, in the most precious name of Jesus. Amen. 
we would come again to worship in our singing of our next praise song.